everyone. Join me having a cup of positivity tea this afternoon up in the man cave. Um, not out the summer house today. My lovely other half's doing work in the garden, so she's got the radio blaring. So, uh, yeah, I didn't want the BBC ruining my recording for you, lovely guys and gals. One quick sip of this. And I'm about to show you five particular comics again from Alan Class. Um, the first three are comics I bought from that um, old rambling bookshop in the town centre a few weeks back. Um, <coughs> excuse me, still got that troubling cough. This is Creepy Worlds number 156, um, quite late in the run as it is post decimal but the shopkeeper uh, made a little note on a ticket on the outside he's noted that it's Jack Kirby so he's hiked up the price a little bit I think let's just gently take this out not a bad copy to be fair not a bad issue fairly good Nick um, but you know we are getting to the end of the Allen class days where they, he decided to take the um, title off the spine maybe save a bit of the publishers printers even so fairly good good nick nick equals condition good nick good condition and what have we got here i defy to do i dare to defy merlin's black magic That's the thing with Alan Class. You can have three Alan Class comics where all the cover is completely the same, but the contents will vary totally. Like Pokemon, you got to get them all. What else have we got in here? I was a prisoner of the living statues. Nice. Am I the unhuman? Paul Ryman art. Sometimes Paul's artwork gets me confused with Steve Ditko's. They're, they're extremely similar. In my humble opinion. I laughed at the great god Pan. Credits have been wiped out for that one. So that's a great, it's a great image. The strange magic of Master Khan. Of course, as muted on the cover. Jack Kirby The Return of Taboo Lovely issue I mean to be fair this didn't cost me a fiver um, because all the comics I bought off this fellow we did a deal which I can't remember what I paid for now but um, if you want to go back to the hunting for old comics in the oldie Shrewsbury and watch that video, you'll, you'll hear what I paid for them. Another sip of my tea. I hope everybody's doing well and has had a great week. Moving on, we have Creepy Worlds number 160 and um, Mandrake cover. Three pound. Not too bad at all. Great condition. No spine tightly. Really good condition though. What have we got? A bit of fun stuff. Your Alan Class collection isn't complete unless you've got some Ali Sloper in your collection. Look at that. 
As far as I'm concerned, if it's published by Alan Glass, it's an Alan Glass comic. Even my hard drives are agreeing with me they're spinning up for some reason. The Fight for Freedom. It's quite a thick one, this one. It's a thick 68-page one. A tale to marvel at. That tells you its origin. A strange journey into mystery. The Last Voyage of Captain Crag. That's a Steve Ditko art. So I've noticed my, um, well, the, the lovely commentators have depleted a little bit, and that's to be expected, really. Um, I've always said that the Alan Class series was going to be a long haul. Um, you're going to need some sort of endurance to stay with me all the way to complete it. So uh, let's see how that goes. Endurance and a certain metal, a certain strength to, to keep up with these weekly uh, videos. Okay, it looks like Charlton stuff. This is Mandrake. Mandrake the Magician, the Magician, the frame up. Because I've just lost my place, there we are. Yes, guys and gals, it's gonna be a long haul. Phantom. Marvellous. Not a bad thick issue at all. Creepy Worlds 160. Uh, yeah, this is the last one I got from. Um, the bookstore in the middle of town. This is Creepy Worlds number 164. <coughs> Excuse me. And the seller had it marked down at £8. I don't know why he's done it as high as that. Maybe he's marked it at that sort of price just for the dazzling cover. I don't know. Yeah, not bad condition. It's got some uh, a little bit of restoration here, I think. There's a bit of yeah, the, it looks like the cover came off at one point. The previous owner has put a uh, some of the in, invisi strips, like the clear tape. It's not a bad job, really. There you go. You can see it right all along there and across there. Eight pound. So, what have we got in here? Let's see now. The man who said no. The nightmare men. Moon ahead. This is true sort of <clears throat> ACG sort of stuff. Lovely. The voice from nowhere. Beautifully detailed line work. You know, I wouldn't really want that um, in colour. I think black and white serves it really well. Yeah, Captain Atom. The five faces of Dr. Spectro. Typical Ditko artwork. 
Superb. Now the next two, um, I went back to the seller that I bought, um, was it last week's comics from? They're a little bit pricey but they're early numbers, I went back to him because I found another two that I really needed. So I was a bit of flush last week so I made another two purchases and they arrived early this week. Amazing Stories of Suspense number 9. Beautiful. Fantastic condition. And no, I'm not going to rip it out the uh, mylar. Great job on that. But, uh, look at that. What fantastic quality. And the last one for today. Amazing Stories of Suspense number 13. The Mystery of the Black Box. You know, you very rarely see these things come to market. Unless you're absolutely lucky and they're amongst a pile of books you bought in an auction. That's superb. And there we go, my friends. That is it for your uh, late Sunday showing. Uh, but the clocks have gone forward, so I gained an hour, so I figured, yeah, I can just about pull a video out of the, uh, the magic hat today. Everybody be well, have a great week going forward, and I shall speak to you more than likely next weekend. Bye for now.